Oh, hello. I'm going to um, read a story with my uh, lovely little furry friend here. Uh, the story is called Enid and the Magic Paintbrush, and some of you might have heard it before. So here we go. Many years ago, in a time when the world was a simpler place, Enid lived in an old, gnarled tree stump. In this strange dwelling, she had everything she could need. Her kitchen was a small corner of the stump where she lit her fire and stored her food. Her bedroom was a V-shaped branch further up the tree where she could sleep soundly. In addition to this, the leaves of the tree protected her from the harsh winds, the rain, and, when it came, the sunshine. Many people knew Enid, but few knew her really well. You're tickling me. Although she had a kind face, she was capable of inflicting great danger on her enemies. Because she was kind, many people came to her for help. Her kindness, which was legendary from the river to the sea, had touched many poor, unfortunate people across the land. However, this kindness was restricted to the people she thought deserved it. Within, with an unkind look or a sharp tongue, she would deal with people who challenged her or her friends mercilessly. One particularly rainy day, while Enid was painting, her magic paintbrush spoke to her. She said, we need some, you, we need some paint, my dear, she said, twitching her bristles. Yes, I know. You don't have to keep reminding me, replied Enid rather tersely. With a swish and a swash, the paintbrush, red with anger, flew through the air, out of the tree stump and across the forest. Enid, who was really cross with the brush, was happy to see her go. Although they were really best of friends, they often fell out with each other. For this reason, Enid didn't worry at first. However, by the end of the day, when the magic paintbrush had not returned home, Enid became a little anxious. Because she had lots of friends, there were many people she could ask to help her. They looked along the banks of the river. They searched along the edge of the wood. They observed the flight of the swans and asked them. Nobody and nothing could help them in their search for the small, wooden, slightly chewed at the ends paintbrush. <clears throat> Just as the moon was rising and the owls were getting ready to begin their nighttime orchestra, one of Enid's oldest, wisest and closest friends had an idea. He said, you should set a trap for the paintbrush. At first, most of the people gathered round thought it was a silly idea. However, Enid, who understood that her friend was full of good ideas, asked him to explain. After listening carefully for a few minutes, the assembled gathering set to work. They placed paints, pots, pallets, water and canvases all over the forest, alongside the river and anywhere else they thought the magic paintbrush would like to go. Then they went home. The following morning, the sight that greeted them was amazing. An army of artists had filled every centimetre of every canvas that had been distributed the night before, except it wasn't an army. It was the work of one single paintbrush. I bet you can guess who it was, can't you? Yes. Different canvases showed different ideas. Different colours showed different moods. Enid, who rarely smiled, beamed all over her face. Although her magic paintbrush had been cross at times during the night, she had eventually 
calm down. There was one canvas that was untouched. Knowing that her magic paintbrush would be back to complete it soon, Enid hid and waited. Sure enough, after a few minutes, the swish and the swash of her beloved friend could be heard, could be heard nearby. Soon, it could be seen working on the blank canvas until it was also covered in vibrant colours. I know you're watching me, said the paintbrush after a while. Enid smiled, knowing that she and her true friend were back together again. Did you like that? No? Yes? Okay. Anyway, bye-bye boys and girls. <laughs>